Well, mom was right. Your best friends are the ones around the dinner table every night. That's a quote from Karen Kingsbury's latest novel about the childhood stories of the fictional Baxter siblings. It's the first in her new Baxter Family Children series and also the first co-written with her son, Tyler Russell. Take a look. Karen Kingsbury is a New York Times bestselling novelist and America's favorite inspirational storyteller. She has over 25 million copies of her award-winning books in print and millions of fans around the world. She continues to inspire and entertain readers with her latest novel, Best Family Ever. Karen teams up with her son, Tyler, in the first book in the Baxter Family Children series to tell the childhood stories of the beloved Baxter children. And please welcome to the 700 Club. Welcome back to the 700 Club, Karen Kingsbury. And for the very first time, your son, your oldest son, Tyler Russell. Great to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, first of all, Karen, again, you have 25 million books in print. Why did you decide to start a, a children's series? Well, the publisher actually had the idea. They, oh. um, they said, you know, well, what about these kids when they were young, like when they were 11 and 12, 9 years old? What would that look like if we did a, a book for 8 to 12 year olds? So I know adults are going to love this because they want to see what the kids were like. But it's really written for kids. And my first response was, I don't have time. Like, I'm doing <laughs> two novels a year. Wow. And that's when I thought of Tyler because he has time and he's a great writer. Hmm. So I said, what if Tyler writes them? And I edit them so that they, you know, come across wow. it with my voice, but he's written them and they were like, we can do that. So Tyler, what is this like for, for you? It's been amazing. I mean, just working with her, learning from her. Um, it's a really collaborative process. We get to come together and dream and outline and plan together oh. and then just to go away. And, and I've watched her my whole life just write. She, she finds a room and she writes a, a whole book. So to be able to have that practice and to grow up under that is such an honor to do this together. And I don't think there's a better t-shirt than her for sure. That creative process is so much fun and you're brainstorming and you're dreaming, you're, what about this? And mm -hmm. um, do you ever get something that you think this is so great and your mom's like, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there definitely is, you know, smoothing out some wrinkles yeah. and. I think sometimes you did that for me. Like I, we had, we have, you know, Ashley is like a favorite character as they get older. Yeah. So Ashley's like 11 years old and she is so funny. <laughs> she is a funny character. I find myself like laughing out loud when I read the first draft that he's done. And uh, we, we have her making some mistakes. Like she might, she's really about Paris and she wants to go there one day to see the paintings Aww. and she says so she many can't little wait. girls do too they I just know, love exactly. Paris exactly and she says I can't wait to see the awful tower <laughs> the awful tower <laughs> and, 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 oh, it is funny that is yeah, I mean, yes. yeah oh my gosh her. dad says no no honey it's the Eiffel Tower she said well I think it's awful tower look at it it just it's, it's crooked it's kind of you know it goes, <laughs> yeah. it goes at an angle so I added a couple more of those in and Tyler said no mom you did too many that's too much <laughs> yeah. and he was right so we ended up going with his way but it, it's a lot of fun heart there's heart Warming pieces. Mm -hmm. The the kids are really uh, just precious. So you're laughing and then you're crying and yeah. And are these characters? I mean, are they completely fictional, or do you think about someone you knew, or a neighbor, or a sibling when you write, Tyler? I think experiences that I I went through growing up definitely come into play in in these books. But it's it's fictional, and I think it's fun to take different pieces of people that we knew growing up, or, or different people that we know now. But then um, they become so real, and they take on this life, don't mm -hmm. they? They really do. Yeah. And especially after having had more than 20 books about them as adults, that we know so much about them from when they were older, and now it's fun to explore where they came from. Well, what do you think it is about this fictional Baxter family that readers just can't get enough of? I think you can see yourself in any one of the members of the family. I think in, in some way you can relate, um, and especially with these kids' books, every, uh, everyone can relate to um, moving, starting over, making new friends, trying to be true to yourself and um, be honest. And so I think this book especially will resonate with families just to be able to teach um, life lessons that we hope that God God can continue to use to build people up. And So technically this would be called a prequel, right? Uh, really, it's, it's a not really a early, early yeah. prequel, yeah, because uh, they're so much younger. And this was was not your, it was the publisher's idea, right? The publisher's yeah. idea that, you know what, if we could go back to a simpler time. I mean, this is before Netflix, mm -hmm. before cell phones. I mean, these, are, these kids wow. are just finding their way. They have a tree house, and they love to explore in their yard. But they also are very close to each other, and I was one of five. 
and then Tyler is one of six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that idea of your family being your best friends, you know, that people will come and go from your life, but even we tell our kids, like, long after me and dad are gone, you'll have each other. So that is something that pours through the pages of Best Family Ever, and we think it's going to be a classic. Like, the publisher is literally going to print with twice as many copies <gasps> really? as my adult books. So we're like, you know, I'm just really thankful that Tyler uh, was willing to do this and step in. He's such a strong writer. Wow. And he knew the backstory. It's, it's a great compliment <laughs> yes. from Karen Kingsbury. Yes. We knew the characters well enough as adults to do some really fun foreshadowing, mm -hmm. like seeing Ashley sketch when we know she's going to grow up to be an artist. Mm. Just those kinds of details that no one Love else that. would have understood as well, I don't think, as Tyler. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, this is heartwarming. Like, people will definitely laugh and cry, and they're going to want to read it out loud to their kids. Mm -hmm. And um, librarians at schools are already saying, like, we want mm -hmm. a lot of copies because this is the kind of story that kids need. It's encouraging. It builds them up. Um, and it shows them family can be strong, even when people are flawed and make mm -hmm. mistakes. Yeah. Karen, you always knew that you wanted to be a writer. Is that right? Yes. I'm, I was five years old when I wrote my first book. <laughs> Crazy. Sure. Every word was spelled wrong, but, you know. And what about you, Tyler? Did you... Did you know you wanted to be a writer? I think there was always part of me that enjoyed it. Whether I was writing short stories or I think in second grade, I, I submitted a, a writing contest and won a prize in our county. And so I always enjoyed writing. Um, How old were you when you got the bug, though, when the writing bug? I don't know. I think I always had it in, in some way. And then I think after college, it, the idea really became real. And God opened up so many opportunities to work with her. Yeah. Um, we also work on screenwriting together, so we've adapted some of her books into screenplays. Yes. And I have a funny story <laughs> about Tyler. So um, when he was probably eight years old, we were out, we were, we were driving around take, doing errands, and he said, you know, Mom, I've been thinking, I, wanna, I think I'm going to be a singer, I might be an actor when I'm older, but I think I'm going to write books in my spare time like you do. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think it's like the greatest it. compliment that any child could ever give me is that it felt like I was writing books in my spare time Aww. while I raised them. Wow. And yet, you know, you could see that bug was there for yeah. him. But it was a, it was a side time thing, you know, a part time thing, because that's how it came across to the kids mm. as I was writing. So thank God that I could write quickly mm. and that they felt like Wonderful. they were first. So. Well, the book is called Best Family Ever. I've got a copy right here. It's available wherever books are sold. And we will be right back with more of the 700 Club after this.